Alrighty everyone, so many people in the community have brought up this term, the Fighter Pack 4, which is self-explanatory, a DLC pack containing three characters and coming after the Fighter Pack 3 for Injustice 2. Many people think this is probably coming, and I question, why do you think so? And let me explain to you and tell you the reality of things before you start bringing up this term, the Fighter Pack 4. First of all, let's watch this interview with DC All Access, where Ed Boon supposedly confirmed a Fighter Pack 4. Next for Injustice 2 DLC is we're actually in the middle of doing our Fighter Pack 2, which is Black Manta, Raiden, and Hellboy, which is another guest character for society. And then we have an entire uh, group of characters, which we'll be announcing soon. So, you know, we're going to be releasing characters long into 2018 and, and beyond. Long into 2018 and beyond. There you guys have it. Fighter Pack 4 confirmed by Ed Boon. Alright, perfect video to put out there on the YouTubes, right? Well, not exactly. And let's actually see what those words mean. Ed Boon's words was kind of tricky when he said long into 2018. It sounds like he's saying there will be DLC covering most of the year of 2018, but what this actually means is what, and what Ed Boon is actually saying is that he's just talking about what's happening with the DLC right now. That they are and have been releasing characters that will lead into 2018. That doesn't necessarily mean that there will be DLC covering most of 2018. He's just saying, yeah, we are going to be releasing characters long into 2018. Like we're leading into 2018 once all the DLC is done. Now let's talk about when he says and beyond. Yes, Beyond actually does sound like he's talking about more DLC characters, but you've got to realize Beyond can mean anything. Beyond can mean beyond DLC characters, which can imply stages, more premiere skins, more multiverse events, and, well, beyond. I wouldn't expect you guys to know this, but during the Mortal Kombat X days, Ed Boon also talked about content beyond the combat pack too. I remember when Ed Boon tweeted this, and for some reason, people were saying, Oh, this clearly means we're getting a combat pack 3, or more DLC, he's clearly talking about more DLC after the combat pack 2. And I sat there like, no, he fucking didn't. He doesn't talk about that. He's talking about the GGPO netcode. And what do you know? The following day, they announce, or they announce an online beta with the new netcode, which is the GGPO netcode. That's beyond Combat Pack 2, right? Now, I'm not saying this is going to be the case with Injustice 2, since the netcode is fine and they are using the GGPO netcode. But I'm just saying, just because Ed Boon said that we're going to be releasing characters well into 2018 and beyond, does not mean that there will be DLC characters throughout 2018. Beyond can be more stages, more premiere skins, yada yada yada, you guys get it. I mean, at least I hope you guys get it. However, I'm not done yet. There's another interview that you might bring up, and that's this one right here. Any plans for DLC after Fighter Pack 3? Ed Boon says, we have nothing to announce at the moment. Since we announced the game, or pretty early after the game's announcement, we said that we would have at least 9 fighters that will follow. We're sticking with that at the moment, especially since most of them haven't been announced yet. We're really pacing our announcements. See? That confirms Fighter Pack 4! He's hinting at a Fighter Pack 4! Time to go on the internet and make it seem like it's happening! Nope. <laughs> Ed Boon clearly says in this interview that they are sticking with the 9 DLC characters. He didn't say that there might be more down the line, he didn't say it's possible for more, he clearly stated since early on in development that we are going to be having 9 DLC characters and we are sticking with that. Where on earth are you getting the idea that he's implying a fighter pack for? If there is a fighter pack Thor, uh, Thor. <laughs> if there is a fighter pack four, then what is the point of an ultimate edition? The Injustice 2 Ultimate Edition is basically Injustice's version or Injustice 2's version of Mortal Kombat XL. Why do you think we didn't get a fighter pack three? Because Mortal Kombat XL was already out. The Ultimate Edition for MKX was out, so adding more DLC would just be very stupid to do. We already have our complete edition for Injustice 2, and we've had it since release. I, I get asked all the time, like, do you think we're getting an ultimate version of Injustice 2 with, like, the Fighter Pack 4 and everything? And I'm like, 
Did you guys miss something that since the game's launch? It's clearly right there. We already have our ultimate version. We already have our ultimate edition. We have it right there. It's ready for you to purchase right now. By the time the DLC run ends, or when all the 9 DLC characters get released, it will be February of 2018, which is the same time Mortal Kombat X ended their DLC run with the Combat Pack 2. MKX was released in 2015 and was completed by February of 2016. After that, we got the Injustice 2 announcement the same year, Injustice 2 was released in 2017, and is going to end their run, their DLC run, in February 2018. After that, it's Mortal Kombat 11 time, and the cycle will probably continue once MK11 is released. I don't know, maybe Mortal Kombat 11 will be the platform game. It's just the reality and fact. On a personal note, I actually don't want a fighter pack 4 because I just want MK11 so very badly already. I want this game to be done with and move on to what runs my soul, and that is Mortal Kombat. I don't hate Injustice, but clearly Mortal Kombat is where it's at for me, and it's everything to me, as you all know. This Fighter Pack 4 fantasy is just one of those things where people misinterpret stuff and they put it out there on the internet and act like it's gonna happen because, you know, hype and everything. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm currently still working on my Ninja Turtles gameplay video that I talked about, so stay tuned for that. But if you did enjoy today's video, I would very much appreciate a like rating on this video. Let's try to get this video to over 100 likes. Let's do it. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more Injustice 2 content. Anyways, my name is Brusport Productions, and I'm out for now.